Now at five, the attorney and inmate who are accused of having sex in jail were back in court today. And today, she asked a judge to let the convicted felon out on bond. CBS Ford's Ted Scouten is live in Fort Lauderdale with the story. Ted. Rick and Rudabe, that client and attorney, have been separated by a glass partition ever since those allegations of sex. Not today. However, the uh, hearing that they were in court for did not go as they had hoped. It's one of the rare times when Jessica Michelli and Israel Granda are able to talk face to face with nothing between them. The two are accused of having sex inside the Broward County Jail. Since then, they can only speak with a glass partition between them. Michelle is trying to change that. It's not just that we're behind the glass. There's a lot of other issues. And it's not just that they can read our lips. There is a video camera in the room that feeds to a TV screen next door at the booth where the deputies are watching. Michelle is defending Granda in an attempted murder case. He has a long criminal history. Michelle says not only is it hard to communicate with him in jail, he's also being threatened by jail staff. He is in a very scary situation. He's afraid for his life. Um, he is losing weight, he can't sleep, he's scared all the time, and deputies are directly threatening him. He has even been told, don't forget, I know where your mom lives. And the attorney said he's being threatened because he was working as a confidential informant to help bring down jail deputies in a corruption case, and they got wind of it. For all these reasons, she wants him released on bond. Prosecutors argue he's a danger behind bars and would be worse on the outside. Uh, as you know, while he was incarcerated is when he arranged for the contract kill of, um, of the victim in the Broward County case. The judge said no to everything. It would be an abuse of my discretion put Mr. Granda on the street. So your motion uh, to set bond uh, is denied. After the hearing, Michelle once again denied that she and Granda had any kind of sexual romp. There are serious allegations here of the two of you having sex. Is it that you would like to be closer to him? No, I would like to be able to prepare his case for trial. Those allegations are false. And the attorney said this is not over yet. She is already working on an appeal. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.